is World Down Syndrome Day, and we're talking about what that means around the globe and right here in southeast Wisconsin. Dawn Norfer is the executive director of the Down Syndrome Association of Wisconsin, and we're joined by Abby Evans, who is a proud self-advocate, and he's, she's going to share a little bit more about her life with us as well. Great to see you both, ladies. You too, Vince. Dawn, let me start with you, and I ask you to do this every time we have you on the show because I think people don't know fully what Down Syndrome is. Can you give us the real quick explanation? Yep, absolutely. So Down Syndrome is the most commonly occurring genetic condition. It occurs when you have a third copy of the 21st chromosome in every cell, and we absolutely believe that that third copy gives you superpowers. <laughs> and I want to talk a little bit more about that in a minute, but let's bring Abby in. Um, Abby, tell me a little bit about yourself. What do you want people to know? I like to ask uh, this question. What do you want people to know about your life? Okay, Down syndrome is not scary. It's just different. Mm -hmm. My friends with Down syndrome and I want to have good jobs in the community. Mm -hmm. And you have a couple of jobs, right? You, you have do. one job that you've been doing. Tell me about that. And then you also have a new job. Yes, I work at Cafe Grace. It's over by Mayfair Collection mm -hmm. in Wauwatosa. And you're a greeter there? Yes, I am. And what do you do? You say hello to people and you're real friendly and stuff? Yes. <laughs> All right, and you just got another job too, right? Yes, I work at Sendix. Mm -hmm. um, it's like in um, Grove at first, and then I'll be transitioning to the book field. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be a bagger. Fantastic. Dawn, I think that's something that we wanted to talk about, this being World Down Syndrome Day, is having high expectations for people with Down Syndrome, and more and more we're hearing employment success stories and other stories like Abby's. Absolutely. So, we're, you know, we're, we're really here to celebrate the good news, Vince, and that's that life is so much different for our friends with Down Syndrome than it was 20 years ago. You know, we should absolutely believe that they're going to have good, integrated, jobs in the community, that they can live in their own apartments or in your neighborhoods. You know, we really want to reach out to new families who are just getting that diagnosis right now and say congratulations because you won the jackpot. It's hard for them to see it that way initially, isn't it? Because there's there's no question there are certain challenges that come along with the job of raising a special needs child. Absolutely, you know, and, and Down Syndrome Association of Wisconsin's there across the lifespan. So our Parents First Call program is right in those early moments of getting your diagnosis. Right. And we have programs and services across the state all the way through until death, really. But it's really, life is so much different now. Um, and we should celebrate that life and we should en encourage our medical professionals to deliver the diagnosis in that way. It's no more like, oh, you're gonna face these challenges or oh, your life you know, is gonna be one of, co of barriers. It's a, you raise the expectations because they're gonna exceed them every single day. Abby, it's so good to have you with us today too. I enjoy your day and I appreciate you sharing your story with us. Thank you. All Thanks, right. Ben. And good luck in your jobs, too. Dawn, thank you. For more information on Down Syndrome, for support materials and other ways that you can join the advocacy movement as well, Down Syndrome Association of Wisconsin has it all online, and we set up a link for you at tmj4.com.